My mate gave me a chicken. Thanks, Mark. Right, guys, I've recently got the Polar Pro ND filters. Been wanting these for a while, actually. The only reason why I've wanted these ones is because they actually replace the, the actual GoPro lens itself. It's not just an extra piece of glass you put in front of it. So it just fits on the front like this. So normally I have been using the TBS ones, Team Black Sheep ones. I'm not bashing these at all. They are very, very good for what they are. They're about five pounds each. And and I use them for pretty much everything, cinematic flights, freestyle flights, everything. I use them for the GoPro Session 5, I use them for the Hero 6, Hero 7, um, and now obviously the Hero 9. One of the things I didn't like about this, and it's one of the issues that I have had with a lot of ND filters, that is, that is an extra piece of glass you put in the front, is you get a lot of weird lighting effects when you are facing into a bright sun, or if you're facing at a certain angle from the sun, um, you get very weird um, light streaks coming off of the sun. This is down to obviously having smudges on the lens and stuff like that. And obviously because you've got that extra piece of glass on the front, it's very, very difficult to get these completely clean. So obviously having this ND filter that replaces the actual lens, you've really, really only got to worry about this front one being clean. So let's go ahead and get down to the field now. Right. I reckon for today an ND16 will do. This is going to be doable with one hand. Take that off. Right, ND16. It says have the right at the top, I think. Yep. Yeah. Set down. Just like that. Bosh. Right. Uh. 